welcome. Welcome to another early morning hanging with Andy and Chris, True Drew Love Warrior. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to True Love Warriors. It's been a little while. Nice to be here. It is nice to be here. Today is October 15th. This is our Deliverance Day. What do you mean by Deliverance Day? It's the day God took me, took us, or took me, and changed me, rearranged me, set my mind straight, set me apart, and delivered me from things I had been struggling with for years. Mm-hmm. And gave me real peace. I and like that rearranged me. I like thinking about that. Because you do become something totally, it's like a, your pieces are put together differently. And there's Bentley, he always makes an appearance. There he right is. Right on time. Good boy. Come here, Bentley. But yeah, it's a great day. I woke up this morning, I'm like, it's over and say. Today's the day. Yeah, no, it's, it's uh, wonderful. And the rearrangement, the old self that we no longer are, that we're new, um, it's, it's a, a big cha- deal. It's a change. It's yeah. uh, a change of mind, a change of heart, a new direction. Renewed. I like that. I've spent the last, like, year. Mm-hmm. Since last October 15th, so my brain has been through so many different things, so many changes, and I've felt God pulling me closer to Him, and I've just grown. Neat. I've just grown, and I'm excited for what He's doing next. I know He's doing big things. We have big things right now that we're doing. Yeah. And I'm excited about them. Like there were before in my life, which is. I honestly didn't know if I'd ever feel that way again. Yeah. After being in the band, making music, doing all the other stuff, and kind of resurrecting all that. Mm-hmm. Like, while I was sick, it's like, here I am, and I'm doing something new. And it's like, and God has done something new in me. And it's like, I feel like me. But I don't really identify, I can't identify me with the me I once was anymore. Understood. I've definitely changed. Yeah. We both have. Yeah. Our marriage has. Mm-hmm. It, it's like, um, the way I felt when I first met you is kind of how I, I feel now. Like, it's like new. Mm-hmm. It's like exciting and alive and... Mm-hmm. I look forward to each day of what's going to happen next. And there are still hard days where I don't feel great or, you know, I mean, cancer sucks. It will always suck. Mm-hmm. But things have definitely gotten better. And we, we read the New Testament. We've been reading the Old Testament. We started reading Genesis. We're trying to read all through the Old Testament from Genesis to, what is it, Malachi? I think so. Micah or Malachi? Mike. Maybe it's Micah. Huh? Maybe it's Micah. Hold, please. We're, anyway, we're trying to read through it. It's Malachi. You were right. We're starting with Genesis. It was an M, an M chapter. Maybe, yeah, I need to start with an M. No, things have been good. Yeah. Like, I'm excited for things will be another year. I think the thing that I've seen so much in the last year just in reflecting back is it's i can say that with with full full confidence that this is the first year i've fully put all 100 percent trust into god me too and that's life-changing it because is. i used to feel i used to feel more like am I doing the right thing or what can yeah. I do to do, you know, do this better or things like that and put a little bit more of this emphasis on what I could, you know, do or affect or any of that. And now it's like, I don't see it like that at all. Like at all. It really, honestly, my full trust is in God. 
I know that no matter what we go through, day to day, month to month, year to year, is all in God's control and power and almightiness. And all praise to Him for all of it. It's interesting to me because, like, I don't know when it, when it was, but 2019, 20, I think. Yeah. Like, my Twitter account has totally changed. Oh, yeah. I, I was all way into like horror and other things and mm-hmm. it's like that's gone and never it wasn't like yeah, it's like a total it wasn't like difficult though yeah it was uh, a movement it was a change I mean it literally got like I, I posted on Instagram on Trill of Words page today this morning about how God scooped us up mm-hmm. he like, seriously just scooped us up and took me from this spot to like way over here to this other spot and it's like yeah and it's like but it wasn't a thing where i could kind of see it i could i could literally see it and feel it, it wasn't a a question of what's going on yeah. he made himself very clear and very evident i think god does that i think people just sit back and second guess it yeah. but the truth is if you're real honest god's moving you to something new People let their feelings get in the way of what God 100%. is doing in their life. So, um, well, look at the world around us. Yeah. I watch. I mean, I've watched a lot of YouTube. I, I don't watch. We don't watch TV. We don't watch regular TV at all anymore. We gave that up years ago. I think the three years I was in bed with cancer was enough TV. Was enough. <laughs> After you've seen your third uh, World Series, and you're like, it's a third. World Series, I haven't moved at all, but sit in the same spot. You're like, I'm done with TV, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm Definitely. just done with television. So I started watching YouTube, and YouTube's kind of the same way. It's like mm-hmm. kind of bleak, and if you watch the wrong thing, you do have a little more control of what you watch. Yeah. But um, on there, it's like some of the things I, I've seen on there, it's like the world's crazy, you know? Yeah. Like the whole... Uh, uh, the MGTOW thing, it's like, th- that's all crazy. Yeah. If you hear some of these, some of the women talk, they talk about men, it's like, or like, um, just politics. I'm not really into politics at all. I get what's going on, but I'm just not a political guy. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, mm, you see the, the police videos where people are doing the first amendment audit, stuff like that. And those are very interesting um, but it's like the world's like just turned so backwards yeah. and it's like God's really like taken us and moved us mm-hmm. so and then there's personal life things are going on mm-hmm. that are like crazy I don't know it's like today's like really a like good deliverance day yeah the other thing that was last year's kind of taught me too is that you can be in what appears to be a very hopeless and bleak situation and you can either let your feelings take over and let that that control you or you can put your trust in God and let that control you <laughs> because the trust in God portion what it does is it it it's surrender it, it's surrender and it reminds you that you have joy in Christ. You're, that is where your joy is. And that yes. nothing can shake that, nothing can move no. that. And so what then God does within all of that is he shows you what that looks like. And so you you Amen. never you never need to sit in that, that bleak and you never need to sit in the dark because there's no dark in that full light that shines in Christ. That, and so when you're there, you can say, I don't understand this. And you may not understand it, but not understanding something doesn't have to lead to confusion and uncertainty. Not understanding something can just say, I trust you, God. And that's it. And that's that's amazing. That's awesome. So Well, as we have learned, people have a, this deep need to have what f- f- they call free will. And Being it's control. like, yep. Yeah, well. They want to feel like they make their own decisions. And feel like it's like, it's, it's a simple to look at and say, well, what influences you to make the choices you make. Yeah. You know? And mm-hmm. I even had to look at that one. Yeah. Because I even had a, a different understanding of it, but I still was being sucked into the idea of somehow I 
make this happen. Yeah. And it's like, it definitely, you don't. And it's like. It's looking at life deeper than what. You have a will for sure. What is perceived. Yeah. You have a will for sure. And the moment I started to like learn how to change perspective to get a different view on things. Yeah. Um, I started to realize my will is a little bit getting in the way here. Mm-hmm. And people call it a free will. It's not free. You have a will though. You definitely have a will. And it definitely goes against all that is good and all that is God. Now, if you surrender, mm-hmm. then you have God's will. And God's Alone. will is yeah. all good. Yeah. It's exactly. all good all the time. Well, it's like that quote that we, I think we've said before, but the I want the mind of my master to be the master of my mind. Amen. So that becomes God's will only. God's will alone. You alone. I mean, because cause then it's, it's that's all that, because that is ultimately, like, God's will be done, period. It, that is literally what's going to and be there done. Are hard, there are hard anyway. things that happen. You know, there are hard things that happen. I mean, we have our own personal thing that's going sure. on right now. Um, things happen, you know. Yeah. In life, things come up. People get sick. I got cancer. Besides that, you know, the family thing. So it's like, but in life, just because you perceive that the bad thing is happening Mm -hmm. doesn't mean there isn't some great thing that God is doing through that bad thing. Amen. His glory will be shown, period. Absolutely. And that, that, that is part of it, is that you either fight against His glory being shown, or you roll with it like a a a cork on the ocean you just let let the wave go because you know his glory will shine no matter what no matter what well another thing is people think that like christians think they're perfect and it's like (laughs) i'm definitely not perfect i still struggle with things i still have hardship and some days where i'm like i've heard people tell me depression isn't real and it's like I don't know what you call depression. I had a brain injury, and I have struggled with what I call depression, mm-hmm. um, where I feel like I can't dig myself out of a hole. But the only thing that's ever dug me out of that hole is Christ. It's reading my Bible by by learning about Him more. Yeah, that's the only thing that's ever dug me out of a hole. It doesn't matter what anyone said. Like, it doesn't matter what a pastor tells me or what somebody might some idea in the Bible or a different translation or whatever, the only thing that really matters or has helped me at all is the truth of Christ. And I guess that's interesting too because it's like, so depression being real or not, that's a whole another conversation. But the but the reality is is what changed in for you in that moment. I think some depression is not real. But I'm saying what changed for you in that moment was calling on Christ to 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 be your 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 light out of that I think kind a of lot a thing. of depression is demonic affliction yeah and I could see that for sure and when you're down it's easy for them to pound on yeah you. who wants you down who wants you dragged out yeah. who wants you doubting yourself who wants you in fear when you're down yeah. he's definitely one who will kick you yeah you know you're the people who will kick you in down well right. he definitely will Ultimately, in life, I one of the things I think about a lot is, what does Satan want? Okay, I'm not going to give him that. I mean, like, I think about that over and over when I'm feeling... Like, the other day, I was feeling frustrated. And it was like, why am I feeling frustrated? It was like, Satan wants me frustrated? Done. I'm not frustrated anymore. Because I literally don't want any part of me to be in his wheelhouse in his window in uh-huh. his favor you know yeah. none of that i want it to be all god well i have days like i don't want to be all god i have days where i don't sleep well or whatever and wake up cranky and the only thing that lifts me out of it is going to god yeah. and sometimes it takes me a while to how why i don't know but it takes a while to be like i need to go to god right now and i go to him but it's like it's not just going to him. It's like mm, absorbing. I was, yeah, I was just kind of, kind of thinking that being in yes, him. Yeah, absorbing yeah. him and letting him kind of be. Yeah, your spirit. Yeah, you know. 
melding. <laughs> and it's like it's, it's easing off of myself. Mm -hmm. um, like John Baptist, he said, I must decrease. Well, he must increase. Yeah. Well, it's like I need to increase him. Right. You know, it's like on a mixing board when you're mixing a song. I need to turn down my vocal and yeah. turn his vocal up. Right, right. You know? Yeah. It's like, and then I, then I start to feel right. But last night, when I went to bed, I knew today was deliverance day. And I got this, like, excitement in me. Like, um, kind of like when I'm a kid on Christmas morning. Yeah. Where it felt like we really triumphed something, and it's because of him. Amen. Well, and people could probably, in their own lives, think about things that have happened in their own life. Because if you have that, if that moment of of thought, like everybody probably has multiple deliverance days in their lives, but well, yeah, to every, really think about that, like well, everybody's different. Yeah, everyone's different. But I mean, I just mean to think about that. That's something to celebrate. It really is. Like when this we, is my this we, is our deliverance yeah, we day. talked about it because we were like, uh, something really, you know, something really hard happened a year ago today. We could, we could see the anniversary of it as a, a, another dark day, you know, in that sense. But we chose to celebrate it because we see the purpose. We see well, the God's glory in all of it. We celebrate our anniversary every year. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Great thing. Yeah, and this was a great thing. I mean, it was. Yeah, amen. The hard things in life, oftentimes, are great things. We yeah. just choose to look at the perspective of it right. from a negative, not right. positive. Right. Because in we the moment at, you feel sad. We don't sad. look at it through Christ. We look at it through us. Exactly. And our eyes will always be negative on the thing. Exactly. Exactly. Always. Yeah. You don't have to understand it all the time. But it's going to be a good it. day. Yeah. I'm excited. Love it. Day. True Love Warriors? True Love Warriors. Out. Out. Like, share, subscribe. Put a comment down below. <laughs>